Cletus from Cyprus, just a freshman on this team, but leads the Cardinals in points so far this season with eight. Also has had at least one shot in all nine matches that he's played in in 2022 and had the game-winning goal against eighth-ranked Pitt. He'll be flanked alongside in the front uh, of the pitch today by Abuba Kar Kamara, number nine, the leading returning goal scorer among Power Conference players this season. Also in the lineup, number 11, Makumba Ba, as another of the forwards. And then across the midfield, five players in the midfield, number 12, uh, Philip Fredall, number 13, Bradley Sample, number 14, Eric Nanqua, number 46, Sonder Road, and then number 23, Quentin Elliott. And then in the back, number four, Bryce LaBelle. And the big target in the back, number 16, Josh Jones, a very, very talented defender and also a real target on set pieces for the Cardinals as we get underway here from Dale Soccer Stadium with the Wolfpack today in the black uniforms and the Cardinals in the road visiting red. And also a little bit of a surprise in the goal for the Cardinals today is Ryan Troutman wearing number 30. The redshirt senior from Louisville will get the start. Second consecutive start for him as he started in the Cardinals 1-1 draw at home against UNC Greensboro on Tuesday night. And then also between the pipes for the Wolfpack today on the other side, Lucas Hatzios wearing number 29 who leads the ACC in saves per game and figures to be tested in this one as the Cardinals one of the more aggressive teams offensively that you're going to see will really press that back line for the Wolfpack. Try to create some giveaways in the final third, create some opportunities running back the other way for that high powered offensive attack. The Cardinals will rotate about six different attackers in this one, all of whom have scored at least one goal this season, led by Kamara, Ba, and Jorgalitas, who each have three on the year. You mentioned Jones, the big center defenseman leading the attack as the first shot off the crossbar that time. Good opportunity by Jorgalitas, but then cleared away. And you see it right away. That balanced attack, a lot of opportunities will be created up front for this Louisville Cardinal team. And now this is an area that the Cardinals are extremely dangerous on. Have scored four goals on set pieces this season. Sonder Road typically is the catalyst, and he'll have the corner on the near side. And watch for big Josh Jones, number 16 for the Cardinals, stands six foot five, just towers above everybody. He'll be the target on these set pieces. Road that time just kind of skips it in, and the Wolfpack able to clear that one away. Now it comes back into the box again, an opportunity for the Cardinals trying to set themselves up to try and score first in this one, which has been a theme for the Cardinals throughout the season. In fact, they've scored first in seven of their nine matches. Ironically, though, among those games, only three, two, and two in games in which they score first, but unbeaten when they don't score first. Hatsios will boot this one away. And the Wolfpack, who will try and slow the pace of this match down if they can, but will be opportunistic when the opportunity presents itself, is trying to push it into the final third as the ball comes into the box and then pushed down from behind, but no whistle on the play as Nare looking for a whistle from the official in the box, but not coming. And now the Cardinals trying to break back the other way, but the Wolfpack able to break it up. <laughs> the Wolfpack scoring the game-winning goal against Virginia Tech from Luke Hilly on Friday night was their first goal in three matches after having been shut out the previous three. As the foul that time given by the Wolfpack will give the Cardinals a free kick from just inside midfield. Just underway, start of the first half in this one. Hope wherever you are that you're safe from the weather. As the 
hurricane now tropical storm begins to move its way into the area and will be a factor throughout the weekend seen a lot of different sporting events have their days or times moved that were scheduled to be played this weekend including this one which originally was scheduled for seven but bumped up to noon today to make sure we could get this one in mentioned the wolf pack Scoring their first goal in three matches after having been shut out the previous three on Friday night. Contrast that defensively, and the Wolfpack also very, very solid defensively, have only allowed one or fewer goals in five of their seven matches this season, including three shutouts, which includes the win Friday night over the Hokies. Can be very disruptive in the midfield and really disorient an attack, and a good example of it right there. As Louisville having trouble getting any kind of rhythm early, Noe Cabezas doing a good job to disrupt that attack. Cardinals did have one good opportunity. As Jorgalidis, who we mentioned off the top, despite being surrounded by some elite level playmakers at this level, is the leading scorer on the team with eight points just as a freshman from Cyprus. And now the Wolfpack again trying to sustain some attack and give themselves an opportunity to put some shots on Ryan Troutman, who has not seen a whole lot of action this season, making just his fourth start of the year. Did start in the 1-1 draw the other night against UNCG back at home. Has allowed two goals on the season, has Troutman, one in each of his last two appearances. Wolfpack with another giveaway in there in the Louisville end of the field. And now the Cardinals trying to break it back the other way and a whistle and a foul. And that might be a yellow card getting ready to come out against Will Butte with the aggressive tackle that time. And it will be a yellow against Butte. So the Cardinals now on the edge of the box looking for an opportunity. This is Jorge Galitas to the top for Eric Donqua wearing number 14. Donqua is the setup man in the midfield for the Cardinals as that one whistles wide on the near post. Did have one late lineup change for the Wolfpack as Jarvis Cleal, the sophomore from England, not in the lineup to start things out. Instead, Jonathan Cisneros, the grad transfer from Raleigh getting the opportunity to start in this one, wearing number 20. And Wolfpack will try to build this out of the back, and that's going to be an interesting task as the weather continues to worsen in this one. Figure the field conditions will continue to deteriorate, and the ball's not going to carry as much. But early on, building out of the back, a good opportunity for the Wolfpack. As Nare on the far side will bring it back out now. Out of the back, Pedregosa. A real Ironman for this Wolfpack team has started all but one game in his career. Will anchor that left side in the back for the Wolfpack, wearing number two. Does have four goals in his career, including a couple of game winners. And behind the play, foul is going to go against the Cardinals as hitting the deck that time was Noah Cabezas. Constantinos Jorgalidis, the guilty one, and shown the yellow card. So one yellow card apiece in the early going. As a good through ball ahead for Hilly. Hilly in a foot race that time, not able to get there and get a good touch on it. 
as Troutman comes out to pick it up. take the throw for the Cardinals. I mentioned the field conditions coming in to start the game. Will be pretty good, but as the Weather continues to roll in, more rain. The field's going to get muddier and muddier, and the traction's going to dissipate a little bit, both for the players and the ball as well. And that's going to create some dangerous opportunities. Both teams are going to have to be very sure with their possession and their passing, especially out of the back, in order to avoid any giveaways that are going to lead to prime opportunities for quick goals on the turnaround. As the Wolfpack trying to generate some offense on the near side. Connor Kelly that time getting his first touch. Kelly comes in fifth in the ACC in goals among ACC players and fourth in points. A good chunk of those coming in that 4 nothing win over Wofford earlier this year in which Kelly netted a hat trick for the Wolfpack. And certainly the most impressive performance of his career. But what that game might best be remembered for was Junior Nare's screamer from just outside the 18-yard box that left the Wofford keeper flummoxed. To be polite about it. NC State showing a little bit more force in the attack early on than we have typically seen from them. They're usually a much more patient squad, but maybe sensing an opportunity early to try and put Louisville on their heels. We mentioned the Cardinals' fast starters typically have scored first in seven of nine matches this season. Whereas the Wolfpack are still kind of finding their way offensively with just one goal in their last four matches. And there's that giveaway in the midfield that we talked about, leading it ahead. Open opportunity for the Cardinals as that one pushed just wide. Great opportunity that time, but pushed just wide by Makumba Ba. Ba, who had the goal against UNCG the other night. And also, earlier this season, in a win over Seattle, recorded seven shots in that match, which was the most by any ACC player in a game this season. A match that also had another oddity in which coach John Michael Hayden, his fourth year for the Cardinals, was ejected, shown the red card, and did not get to captain the squad on the road at arch rival Kentucky a few nights later. Now the Wolfpack looking for another opportunity as a free run down the near side, but a little bit too far ahead. Trying to get that to Cisneros, who just wasn't able to catch up to it, and that'll go for a goal kick for the Cardinals. Just about 15 minutes in, Cardinals have recorded three shots, had a really good opportunity early as Jorgalitis rang the woodwork in the first five minutes with a shot off the bar. Since then, though, the Wolfpack have been able to settle things down. A 
and keep the Cardinals mostly bottled up. Though Baugh did have a good opportunity a few moments ago. As Jones, there's the giveaway in the final third, and now the Wolfpack with a good opportunity. Breaking into the box, but Jones able to recover and take the ball back. As Cabasis had an opportunity potentially there, now Luke Hilly winds up and fires it into the Cardinal defense. Wolfpack able to maintain the possession though. Still looking to record their first official shot of the match. As we're going to get a whistle and a stoppage that time as the Wolfpack on the takeaway by Plamona. Might have clipped Jorgalitis that time. The foul was not given, but Jorgalitis doubled over in pain for the moment, but is able to get back to his feet. Looks like he's okay. So the Wolfpack will have the possession. <laughs> Trying to play it forward with the long ball over the top of that aggressive Cardinal front. We mentioned before, they will press very high, try to force mistakes in the back end. And the Wolfpack trying to counter that right now with long balls over the top with some mixed success, mixed success in the early going. As Edwards with a good touch that time to get it away from Baugh. As you see Baugh and the Cardinals playing very high, trying to force a mistake from the Wolfpack, but the Wolfpack sure of the possession early on. It's going to be a key as this one moves along, particularly again as the wind picks up as we move through this one. And now here's a good opportunity into the box. Opportunity, but just does get away that time from Nare. Just a little bit heavy on the touch, and that allowed Troutman to come off his line and cover that one up. So a missed opportunity for the Wolfpack that time as they were able to get in behind that Cardinal defense. Troutman with a dangerous touch that time as well. Nearly teed that up for Hilly right outside the box. But able to recover. And now here's the Wolfpack again with another opportunity. Hilly with the flag up for offside. On the deflection that time, got a step behind the defense. Had that deflection not been there, Hilly would have been onside and would have been in alone with Troutman. But instead, we'll go back the other way with the Cardinals. Having registered three shots in the early going. You mentioned the Wolfpack still looking for their first official shot. Hilly actually did have a recorded shot just as I said that, firing it into the Louisville defense a few moments ago. Lucas Hatzios, the keeper for the Wolfpack. Talked earlier about him leading the ACC in saves per game. Fourth in the ACC in total saves. Has seen his role increase dramatically this season after not playing at all as a freshman. Starting for the sixth time this season today already. Both back with another throw opportunity, but bottled up by the Cardinals momentarily. And now Hilly gets it back on the touch, looking to clear some space. Instead, we'll give it back out to Butte, and the Wolfpack will try to reset the offense. And you can see the rain really starting to come down now. 
Been raining pretty steadily since about 6 o'clock this morning. But now starting to really pick up as we pass the noon hour on the East Coast. Cisneros, again with another run, trying to get down the flank on the near side of the pitch for the Wolfpack. But for the second time, just a little bit too far ahead of him. But you can see the plan for the Wolfpack has been effective as they've been able to get Cisneros some good runs down the near side. Just haven't been able to make the connection yet, but have also had some good opportunities down the left flank as well. We'll get our first substitution of the day. Nico Diaz will come on. The junior from New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Constantinos Jordalitis will take a seat. But Diaz, as we mentioned, part of that very deep and talented roster of attackers for the Cardinals has also scored this season. Has a goal and three assists to his credit. So there's not much drop off when the Cardinals go to the bench, particularly up front. And they'll rotate about six different uh, attackers between Kamara, Ba, Jorgalitas, Diaz. We'll also see Damian Barker John and Brandon McManus throughout the day. As the Cardinals with a giveaway in the final third, we'll give the ball back to the Wolfpack. As you can also see the wind really starting to whip around out there as well. And the more that that happens, the more it's going to play with the passing, the long balls. Which you figure at some point probably is going to lead to a mistake that's going to lead to a goal for somebody. As Rode on the edge of the box, trying to center it toward the middle, had a good opportunity. Looking for ball that time, but a good job coming off his line by Hatsios to get a hand on that one and pull it in before it could get too dangerous. And now the Wolfpack will try to break it back the other way. Long ball right on the foot that time of Kamara, maybe just a half step ahead of him, but a really nice long ball that time by the Cardinals who were kind of trying to do the same thing the Wolfpack are, just playing it over the top of the defense, trying to make a connection to one of those talented attackers. As neither team has had a lot of success building from the back in the early going. Get a free kick opportunity for the Wolfpack. And if you watch carefully, we're already starting to see the field conditions deteriorate as you watch those passes slow dramatically into the puddles that are forming on the field right now. And that's what we talked about earlier with the need to be very sure in possession, particularly in your own end. Because if you try to pass it through those puddles and the weather out there, what could end up happening is the ball kind of just dies in the middle between uh, two players and allows a turnover and an easy run back the other way. Another substitution for the Cardinals a moment ago as Brandon McManus, as we mentioned, comes on in place of Abubakar Kamara. Looking to go over the top that time. Not able to make the connection. Just did get rid of it. 
did Troutman. And now just on the edge of the box, looking for room to turn around and fire it. Is Cabezas. Now right at the top. Opportunity, but shot just high by Nare. So good opportunity that time goes by the board for the Wolfpack. Past the halfway point of this opening half, no score. Cardinal certainly had the best opportunity early in the opening five minutes when Jorgalidis rang one off the crossbar. Since then, though, pretty even in terms of possession for both sides. Neither team's had a lot of success building through the midfield or from the back, which for the Wolfpack is typically by design. The Cardinals very potent offensively. Also a very skilled group with a couple of wins over top 10 opponents this season, including this past Friday and a 2-0 win over then eighth-ranked Pitt. For the Wolfpack, looking for their first win over a ranked team today since 2019. This is Makumba Ba on the edge of the box. Gets it to McManus. McManus tried to turn around and fire that. It goes off a Wolfpack player, Pablo Pedregosa, and it rolls out on the near side. It'll just be a throw instead of the corner kick. The Cardinals an extremely dangerous team on set pieces. So fortunate at that time to have it roll out on the side instead of off the end line. It does look like Quentin Elliott, the freshman from Charleston, West Virginia, wants to turn this into a pseudo set piece, trying to get the throw toward the middle and into the box. Does get it into the box. Off the deflection, though, the Wolfpack able to clear it away. Cardinals, though, maintain the possession as McManus on the edge of the box has it taken away again. A little bit of miscommunication for a moment, but able to settle it were LaBelle and Jones. With Nare bearing down on the Two big Cardinal defenders. Nare now getting set to check out. David Bacuzzo in for the first time today for the Cardinals in place of Eric Donqua. And we mentioned Junior Nare coming off and Callum Tommy checking in for the first time for the Wolfpack. Both teams will dig pretty deeply into their benches throughout this one. Coach Kiefer for the Wolfpack will tell you Callum Tommy, one of the fastest players he's ever coached in his six years at NC State. As you can see the puddles all over the pitch right now as Rode on the far side, trying to control it against Cam Murray. It goes out for a goal kick. And Rode incredulous, thought he'd won a corner. And if we're going to get a goal in this one, you figure it's probably going to come off either a mistake that is related to the conditions of the pitch or off a set piece. As in this type of weather, you don't typically expect to see a lot of coherent, cohesive attack as we enter toward the final 15 minutes of this first half. Hey. 
Battling in the midfield that time, and the whistle will go against the Wolfpack. Luke Hill, the guilty party. Jones just boots that one out of play. And the Wolfpack another throw on the far side. I'd already said it that, oh, this is going to throw me tonight, you know, because I'm going to go off the And so about, I don't know, the second half, was the second half? Both teams again just trying to play it over the top right now as having trouble generating much through the midfield. And down behind the play, Pablo Pedregosa. Got tangled up that time. He got knocked to the deck. Up slowly, but looks like he's okay. We mentioned Pedregosa, an Iron Man for this Wolfpack team over his career. Started all but one game. Had an assist earlier this year in the 2 0 win over Loyola on August the 26th. As Hatsios will boot this one. Deep down the side. <laughs> it's been a relatively clean first half for both sides. Just two fouls against the Cardinals. One against the Wolfpack. Which is unique for Louisville. Who has committed the third most fouls among ACC teams coming into today. And tied for second in the most yellow cards. Handed out as they've had 20 yellow cards issued on the season. We mentioned just the one red card, but it was not on a player for Louisville. It was actually on head coach John Michael Hayden. And these are the set pieces where Louisville so dangerous as road will fire this one into the box. Wolfpack able to avoid any real danger there is Rode will send it in a second time, looking for McManus, but then Hatzios from behind knocks McManus over, and then pushing and shoving afterwards as McManus knocked Hatzios down. As things get a little bit chippy here in the first half. Connor Kelly maybe took an elbow in there for the Wolfpack as well. Just as we were talking about the physical nature of both of these teams at times. You see a little bit right there as McManus on that service in from Road had good position. Hatsios, the keeper for the Wolfpack, came in over the top of him and knocked him over. And then as McManus was getting back up, tripped Hatsios. And now the officiating crew will sort this one out. Sergio Gonzalez is the referee on the left-hand side of your screen. Assisted by Gabriel Rivera today. Clive Edwards is the assistant referee. And then Ross McKernan, the alternate official, if needed today. And I think we're going to see probably matching yellow cards would be my guess. As the 
clock is stopped right now with 13.55 to play in this first half. And so McManus will take the yellow card. That'll be the second against the Cardinals in the first half. And it looks like that's all it's going to be is just the yellow card on McManus. But it'll be Cardinal possession and they'll have the throw on the far side. Bradley Sample also with a yellow card in this first half for Louisville. This ball not able to handle the throw that time, and the Wolfpack trying to slosh their way out of their own final third. And a whistle and a stoppage, and we might be about to get another card against the Cardinals. We are, as I think somebody for Louisville didn't catch who it was initially grabbing Callum Tommy as he was trying to make his move up that far sideline. See who they book that against. But it'll be a free kick for NC State. As Tropical Storm Ian continues to wreak havoc on this one. As Tommy again down that far flank has numbers and has help, tries to cross it into the middle, but not able to get his foot on it. The yellow card a few moments ago on Louisville was on Nico Diaz. So the third yellow against the Cardinals in the first half. I mentioned that's not really a surprise. They came in tied for second in the ACC in yellow cards, having been shown 20 of them, so make it 23 now. As Tommy Callum, or Callum Tommy rather, guilty of the foul, that will give the possession back to Louisville, but then a giveaway in their own end. But able to recover and now break it back the other way. Wind really gusting and continuing to wreak havoc in this one. Good takeaway that time on the backside by Cam Murray, who's been a wall back there assigned to watch Makumba Ba and has done a really nice job of neutralizing the talented junior. Murray, a six foot senior from Australia. Won a junior college national championship a few years ago. Transferred from Monroe College. And he's been a real stalwart for this Wolfpack team so far this season. Cardinals with possession, trying to push it forward as Rode off the touch. Nearly was able to find Bacuzzo, but now on the edge of the box. Trying to turn and fire it. But pushed back out. As Achara in the game for the first time for the Cardinals. On for Baugh. Damian Barker John also into the game for the first time in place of Brandon, uh, Brandon McManus for Louisville. Oh, 
Good job to keep it in play for the Cardinals momentarily and win a throw. As Diaz sends that one into the box, but deflected away. Barker John, talented freshman for this Cardinal team from Brooklyn, New York. Tries to lob it in, but the Wolfpack again able to parry aside any potential trouble and then just clear it away. You can see the pitch starting to tilt just a little bit toward the Cardinal side as the 15th ranked Cardinals beginning to put some more pressure on this Wolfpack back line. As Diaz. Taken down, but the foul against the Cardinals and we'll give it back to the Wolfpack. Final 10 minutes and half number one. Here at Dale Stadium in Raleigh. Cardinals on the season at 5-2-2, two, 1-1-1 and two, one, one and one in the ACC. Trying to up their current unbeaten streak as they've been unbeaten in their last four. Wolfpack entering today at 3-3-1, three, 1-2 three and, one, one and two in the ACC, but picked up that first ACC win on Friday in a 1-0 win over Virginia Tech. Trying to build on that as well. As that shot deflected just outside the box and will give a corner to the Cardinals. As big Ugo Achara wins the corner for Louisville and Rode will send this one in. Cardinals on the season with four goals from set pieces. Watch for big number 16, Josh Jones in the middle for the Cardinals, the 6-5 target on a lot of these set pieces. Good job to clear that one away for the Wolfpack momentarily. Stays in the box though, but now the Wolfpack able to clear it away. Just a scramble at the top again with the conditions as they are. Hard to maintain the possession as Diaz fires that one High it away. It'll be a goal kick for the Wolfpack. Matthias will boot this one for the Wolfpack as we get Henry Santos into the game for the first time, replacing Noe Cabezas. As the Wolfpack dig further into their bench. Now a free kick coming again for the Cardinals. Into the box, looking for Jones, who gets a head on it this time, but knocks it uh, over the end line. You mentioned Santos into the game for the first time, the 5'9 sophomore from Portugal.
Jones and Kelly get tangled up, but no whistle that time. And now the long ball ahead to the top of the box, out to try and clear it away. That time as Troutman just did get a foot on it before Callum Tommy was closing fast. Saw some of that speed that uh, some of that speed that Coach Kiefer was talking about as he got in on Troutman very very fast and nearly beat Troutman to the ball as Troutman had to come all the way out beyond the box to make that play and knock it away. So the Wolfpack, despite only generating two official shots, have had some good opportunities, just haven't been able to capitalize. And you feel like those opportunities will continue to be there as this one moves along. Free kick coming for the Wolfpack, and Connor Kelly will take it. Kelly, the graduate transfer from Duke. Lobs this one into the box. And that's actually going to go as a corner that time as that ball played up for Kendall Edwards, but Edwards not the last to touch it as it actually went off Quentin Elliott. And the Wolfpack will get their second corner of the match. Kelly will take it. Kelly with the low bouncer that time. Deflected off a Cardinal player, so the Wolfpack will get another opportunity at it. Both teams will be even in corners. Wolfpack actually entered today with the fewest number of corner kick attempts in the ACC with 26. But even with the Cardinals at two apiece in this first half, as that one goes by the wayside as well, and the Cardinals just clear it out. Foot race, but won the Wolfpack will win. As Barker John bearing down that time on the Wolfpack back line. Break it back the other way as we approach the final two minutes of this opening half. No score between the 15th ranked Cardinals and the Wolfpack here in Raleigh. Murray will have the throw on the far side. See the wind that time playing uh, some tricks with the ball. As Pedregosa just trying to push that one down the field with the wind taking it right out of play and giving the ball back to the Cardinals. As Tommy closing in quickly on Bryce LaBelle forces him to get rid of it. Road. Bringing it to the near side. Opportunity for the Cardinals as Diaz fires it into the Wolfpack defense. It's going to go out. It'll be a corner, though, for Louisville. And another opportunity for them. So dangerous on set pieces. Third corner of the match coming for them. Final minute of this first half. As Rode will fire this one in. This one on target inside the six-yard box. Jones up there got a piece of it, but wasn't able to turn around on it. 
And very, very dangerous that time on the corner from Road, but the Wolfpack able to avoid giving up a clean opportunity. As again, the Wolfpack swim their way out of their own end and avoid trouble on a well-placed corner from Road that time. As Road over the top looking for Barker John, but that's going to be the end of the first half. As both teams will get an opportunity to get inside and get dry and get ready for the final four to pull ahead in the all-time series with the Cardinals, which currently stands at 4-4 and 2, with the Cardinals having won the previous two meetings. Temperatures at kickoff in the low or the upper 50s, I should say, upper 50s, low 60s. It's not going to get really above that today. And the rain's certainly not helping. As you can see, players jumping around trying to stay warm. As we get underway in this start of the second half, long ball down the far side, trying to find the aforementioned Callum Tommy. Go, Claudia! Go, Claudia! Wolfpack under Coach Kiefer have been very good at home. 33 wins against 16 losses and eight draws. But against this Louisville team, have not won on this field since 2016. I would love to change that here today and pick up a win over a ranked opponent as well. And you look at some players that uh, potentially could thrive in this type of an environment and create an opportunity for a goal. We've mentioned Callum Tommy, his speed, a real asset because any mistake that the Cardinals might make or any mistake that the pitch could generate, Tommy could turn that into an opportunity for the Wolfpack very quickly. So that certainly bears watching as this second half moves along. For the Cardinals set pieces, such a key part of their offense. And we're going to get one right off the bat as Makumba Ba wins the corner for the Cardinals. It'll be their fourth of the match. They've got four goals off set pieces this season. And Sonder Road, who's going to take the corner, one of the premier setup men in the ACC. Launches this one for the goal. It goes off the hands of Hatsios, but he's able to squeeze it. And that's another area where the weather is going to play a factor in this one, as Hatsios didn't squeeze that cleanly, but fortunately was able to recover and avoid any trouble for the Wolfpack. We just send it down the far side, back out of play, and the Cardinals will take back over. Told you in the first half about how over the course of this season, the NC State defense has been very stingy, allowing one or fewer goals in five of their seven matches this season. And on the year, have allowed just seven goals total. Five of those, though, have come after halftime. And you can be sure that Louisville will hope to exploit that here in this second half. As we'll get a whistle and a foul that's going to go against the Cardinals, and the Wolfpack will have it. As Butte and Ball get tied up. Connor Kelly with it. Didn't really get a whole lot of opportunities in that first half to make an impact. Sends this one over the end line. It'll be a goal kick for the Cardinals. Yeah. 
First half also saw for the Wolfpack another good opportunity that wasn't registered in the stat sheet. When Junior Nare appeared to be at least on the line between being pulled down in the box, which very easily could have been whistled and uh, given the Wolfpack a PK. He's trying to cross that in for Road, but a little bit short on the service that time. And now the Wolfpack with a good takeaway. Connor Kelly will fire it down to the aforementioned Callum Tommy. And Tommy, again, just in a foot race, is probably going to win that nine times out of ten. But the ball scoots out of play on the far side. And you can see that's kind of the game plan right now for NC State is trying to get a guy like Tommy in a free run and into a foot race to create some havoc on that back line. And whether it's Tommy or Luke Hilly or Connor Kelly getting an opportunity to score the goal, but the speed of Tommy, a real weapon, especially in a situation like this, with the weather being what it is, Touch by Ball, trying to get that one to the middle for the Cardinals. But the Wolfpack, a good job to avert any trouble. Good job that time by Murray, battling with Road and wins the possession for the Wolfpack. Mentioned in the first half, Murray, the probably the unsung hero in that first half for the Wolfpack after the Cardinals had had a couple of good opportunities early on. Murray's been the one assigned down that flank to watch the talented scoring duo of Kamara and Baugh and has kept the two of them pretty quiet through this point. Pablo Pedragosa on the opposite side, also helping to keep things quiet defensively for the Wolfpack against a very talented offensive team. And this is Ball on the edge of the box, but again, cleared away. Jonathan Cisneros that time, able to wrestle that one away from Ball. But this time able to win a corner is Ball. And you hate to belabor the point, but again, such a dangerous team on set pieces are the Cardinals, particularly with big Josh Jones, the sophomore from Hatfield, Pennsylvania, standing at six foot five, just towering over everybody in the middle. Haven't been able to get it onto him this time as Ball fires that one wide of the near post. But off the deflection, it'll be another corner opportunity for the Cardinals. As this will be corner number seven on the way. This one into the box dangerously, but able to clear it away was Kelly. Nice touch this time for the Wolfpack and able to draw the whistle. Pick up an opportunity for the Wolfpack is Henrik Santos. Santos who came on 
late in the first half. Stays out there to start the second half and earns the free kick for the Wolfpack. Kelly will take this one. Sends this one in direct on to Troutman, who goes down to his knees to make the play. And now the Cardinals will break it back the other way. Ball on the far side. Into the box, off the touch that time from Achara. But a good job staying with it, Pedragosa for the Wolfpack. Was able to keep Chara from turning on that one and getting a look at the goal against Hatsios. from behind that time. That's going to go against the Cardinals, and the Wolfpack will have the possession just in front of midfield. Abubakar Kamara coming back on for Ugo Achara. Kamara, the eighth all-time goal scorer in Louisville history. Has three goals this season and was the returning leader in goals scored among Power Conference players this year. And two of his three goals this year have been of the game-winning variety. Would love an opportunity to get a third in this one. A little bit past the 10 minute mark of half number two as the Wolfpack. Still looking to create a good quality chance in the second half. May have gotten away with a handball there, did Edwards, as that ball looked like it popped up off his forearm. Going back the other way. Ten yards away. Fred All will have the throw for the Cardinals. Ball battling with Kelly. Able to win the possession for the Cardinals. Oh my oh. Touch into the middle. Oh. Comes for Ball, but able to clear it away. Ball still dancing with it on the edge of the box. Look at the middle! And a good job by the Wolfpack that time again to wiggle out of any trouble as Ba and Kamara tried to hook up that time, but not able to create a quality opportunity for the Cardinals. <laughs> Hatsios will send this one in. Good cross for Road on the edge of the box. Back toward the middle, up high for it, and just inside the near post. What a cross that time by Road. Terrific setup. A 
as David Bacuso credited with the goal for the Cardinals on the terrific setup by Rode, but now the concern for NC State goes toward the mouth of the goal right now as Lucas Hatzios may have come down awkwardly, diving to try and keep that one out of the back of the net. So David Bacuzzo officially credited with the goal. The first of his career, the freshman from Orlando. Again on a terrific setup by Sonder Rode. As Rode picks up his fifth assist. The most on the team. And for, for Hatzios, when he came down that time, maybe just a cramp, but definitely came down awkwardly trying to keep that header from Bacuzo out of the back of the net. For Sonder Road, again, we mentioned his fifth assist of the season leads the Cardinals in that category. Was an all ACC third team and freshman team selection a year ago. And was actually the first Cardinal freshman named to the all ACC team since 2014. Credit a second assist as well to Patrick Idukovic, who had the initial ball into the box for Road. And that'll be the first assist of the year for Idukovic. That goal coming in the 59th minute. To make it one nothing in favor of the Cardinals. Hatsios might come off, it looks like, as we see on the far side of the field. Ellis Wyndham, the freshman from Evergreen, Colorado. Stretching and loosening right now, as is everybody else on the pitch, again with the temperatures in the upper 50s, but with the rain and the wind giving it the feel of it barely being 7 to 10 degrees colder. Training staff comes off, so it looks like Hatsios will stay on. And now the Wolfpack with work to do, trailing one nothing. As the rain and the wind really start to pick up again. And you can see it particularly down in this end. the puddles and standing water that continue to develop throughout most of the pitch. And now the Cardinals will likely try and play a little bit of keep away, but now with an opportunity with the Pitch, condition, pitch conditions continuing to worsen. The ball just not traveling much. As the cross goes into the box. Intended for Kamara, but Kamara not able to get to it. And then away from the ball, we'll get a foul against the Cardinals. that will give it back to the Wolfpack. Oh, 
Bradley Sample, who picked up a yellow card in the first half. Guilty of the infraction that time. The conditions on the Wolfpack end of the pitch right now considerably worse than what we're seeing on the Louisville side. With the ball just not traveling at all. Whereas in the Cardinal attacking end right now, the ball still carrying at least to some degree, but noticeably more so than on the other end. Just trying to clear that one out was Plamona. And with under 30 minutes to play in this one, now the Wolfpack will have to get in gear offensively a little bit. And start to press the issue. The goal by Bacuzzo, the first on-target shot of the game for either side. Officially, anyway. Of course, again, we mentioned the shot off the bar in the first half. for Louisville. Substitution for the Wolfpack brings Jeremiah Luoma back on. Connor Kelly will take a seat. Is that ball into the box dangerously? And then sent to the far post, less dangerously by Brandon McManus. Loma coming off the bench in this one for the Wolfpack after starting two of the previous three. Including in the win over Virginia Tech last Friday. Right at the top. Opportunity for Kamara, but gives it away. And now the Wolfpack trying to break it out of their own end and generate some kind of offensive opportunity as the rain just comes down in sheets now. Another cross toward the middle, but that one deflected just slightly, but enough to, not enough to keep it in play or not enough to take it out of play as Hatsios Looks like he's moving okay. <laughs> stayed down after the goal by Bacuzzo, but stays in the game. As Eric Donqua returns for Louisville as a substitution in place of Sonder Road. Oh, good turn. Oh. McManus. Trying to center it into the middle for Kamara, but good job by the Wolfpack retreating back defensively, having trouble getting out of their own end right now. As the Cardinals sensing an opportunity potentially to throw a knockout blow, have really begun to up the pressure on this back line for the Wolfpack. And the Cardinals will have the throw on the far side. Callum Tommy battling for the ball with the Wolfpack. Pedragosa with it. Long one into the box, but a good job retreating back for the Cardinals, but Pedragosa will win the corner for the Wolfpack. It'll be their third of the match. We'll see if the Wolfpack off a set piece opportunity will get the get a chance to level this one. It's a Wolfpack corner. <laughs> Pedragosa will fire it in. That one into the six yard box, but cleared away. It'll be another opportunity for another corner. Bradley Sample. 
Got a head on that for the Cardinals and knocked it away. Back to back corners. Number eight, Will Another good one into the six yard box, but cleared away. Just dies inside the 18 that time before it could be skipped away by the Cardinals. And you see coach John Michael Hayden putting up the stop sign for the Cardinals that time. Telling his team to take their time and get the ball in. Nursing that one goal lead. They came off the head of David Bakuza in the 59th minute. And the assist from Idukovic and Rode has knocked to the deck for the Wolfpack is Junior Nare. And we'll get a yellow card. Fourth of the match against the Cardinals. And so the Wolfpack will have a free kick from inside their own end. There were two players in the area that time of Nare waiting to see who they'll give the yellow card to. It looks like it'll be Eric Donqua. First one of the match against Donqua, again the fourth on the team. There's Tommy on the edge of the box, had an opportunity with it, but again just playing in the swimming pool that's inside the box there, wasn't able to get control of it. And the ball skids off a Cardinal player out of play and it'll be another corner. And this again with the field conditions much worse in the Wolfpack attacking end than they are in the Cardinal end. A set piece might be the best opportunity for NC State to get on the board and level this one. And that's now their, what will be their third corner of the half and their third in the last five minutes or so. This one, a good one into the box. Turns on it, not able to get it on goal though. Still in the box, still dangerous as Hilly turns around, gets it off the deflection, but it goes wide. But another corner opportunity as Hilly that time was able to turn on that one. Just couldn't get it on net. As it was deflected away. This will be the fourth corner again in the last few minutes all of which have been pretty dangerously sent in. This one less so, and then knocked down in the box. No whistle that time as Pedregosa looked like he got hit from behind, and now the Cardinals trying to break out of their own end, but the water not cooperating. And that's the second time that the Wolfpack have put their hands up in frustration at the lack of a whistle in the box. One in the first half and then that one as well. As Pedro goes, it looked like he got tripped from behind. We don't have the benefit of replay today. As the ball sent out of play. Really? 
As we'll have a stoppage of play for a moment as the referee Sergio Gonzalez having a conversation with the grounds crew, it looks like. And again, the the difference in the quality of the pitch right now, substantially different in the Wolfpack attacking end versus the Cardinal attacking end. At halftime, you saw the grounds crew trying to broom the water, the standing water anyway, off the field. And you wonder if that may be the discussion right now is to take a moment and try to clear some of that water off. As what you've essentially got is a freestanding pond. As Coach Gonzalez, or uh, Referee Gonzalez having a quick discussion with Coach Kiefer for the Wolfpack. And that is exactly what we're going to do is we're going to pause this one for just a few moments here and allow the grounds crew here at uh, here in Raleigh at NC State to clear some of the standing water off the field because the field conditions again on this end are substantially less playable. And so while they take care of the field and try to make this a little bit more playable for the Wolfpack, we will step aside. Louisville with the goal in the 59th minute off the head of David Bacuzzo, the first of the career for the freshman. It's 1-0. The Cardinals on top of the Wolfpack with 21 minutes left to play in this one. We'll step aside here on the ACC Network. Yeah. 
I mean, look at this whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe there's one that one little the guys are having the guys are having fun playing the And after a short rain delay that was allowing the grounds crew for the Wolfpack here in Raleigh to clear some of the field of the standing water, we resume play with 21 minutes remaining. And as we cross the 20 minute remaining mark, important to note that college soccer games in the NCAA by rule are not official until we've played a full 70 minutes. And so that moment approaching here rapidly to where this game would become official should it need to be stopped because of the weather conditions. But the Wolfpack have begun to pressure since the goal by Bacuzzo in the 59th minute for Louisville have generated more pressure and more offensive opportunities than at any point in the match so far. 
and would love an opportunity to continue that. This ball sent into the box, or on the edge of the box, the win that time kind of knocking that one down. Trying to find Tommy or Pedregosa up the flank on the far side. And there's a good one into the box for Hilly, but just out to stop it was Troutman. And there you see the field conditions coming into play as that ball did not continue to scoot its way toward Troutman. It basically stopped in the mud right in front of him. And Hilly nearly had an opportunity to get there as that ball stopped and could have made a play on it. And instead, the Cardinals now with a break back the other way. This is McManus for Louisville. Sonder Road back on during the stoppage, had the assist on the goal by Bacuzzo a little while back. If you're just joining us, again, the hurricane turned tropical storm Ira playing a major factor in this one. A lot of water, a lot of wind. Tropical storm Ian, excuse me, playing a lot of Havoc with this one. Forcing the game to be moved up from 7 o'clock tonight to a noon Eastern start. But then as the rains really picked up after the first 10 or 15 minutes, you see the standing water that has accumulated on the field, more so on this end than on the other where for the Louisville Cardinals in their attacking end, it's a little bit more playable for the Wolfpack. It's very difficult to generate any kind of cohesive attack because the ball just will not cooperate right now because of the field conditions. There's a good example of it right there is trying to make a play on the ball was Luoma, but could not get the touch to move that ball forward. There you go. Oh. 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 Kamara knocked down with no whistle that time, and now trying to move his way up the flank is Jorgalitis. Gets knocked down just outside the box. Ball rolls off the end line. And it'll go as a goal kick for the Wolfpack. As now under 20 minutes to play, which means the game is official. Stop the clock! He's wasting time! <laughs> and set to boot this one away is Hatsios. Exactly. <laughs> Fred All will throw this one in. For the Cardinals. As we'll get a substitution with Jeremiah Luoma coming off, Connor Kelly coming back on, presumably for the final 17 minutes, hoping to generate another opportunity for the Wolfpack and a chance to get even as that ball sent out. Appeared to be off the Wolfpack, but they'll say the last touch was off the Cardinals. And so it'll go as a goal kick for the Wolfpack, but down on the end line. Jonathan Cisneros, who got a surprise start after Jarvis Cleal was initially listed as a starter, but we have not seen him today. Cisneros, the grad student from Raleigh, maybe dealing with some cramping right now as we move inside the final 17 minutes of this one. Take a look at some of the numbers in this one so far. Again, only one official shot on goal, and that was the goal by Bacuzzo. That does not quite tell the story, though, as both teams have had some good opportunities. Most notably, Jorgalitis' shot off the bar early in the first five minutes of the first half. Then you had 
Junior Nare get pulled down to the box for what could have been potentially a penalty opportunity for the Wolfpack. Luke Hilly also had a good opportunity just inside the box, but couldn't get a good touch on it. That also coming in the first half. And now Hatsios ready to send this one away for the Wolfpack. As Cisneros back on his feet and back into the match. And that ball will roll out and give the Wolfpack an opportunity a little bit closer to midfield. They've had some good opportunities recently. Had a stretch of four corners in about two or three minutes. As Hilly with a good touch that time. For Callum Tommy, Tommy though not able to do anything with it and the Cardinals able to clear it away. This is McManus edge of the box for Kamara, but Kamara not able to get the touch on it. Frustrated with himself. The last touch is gonna go off the Wolfpack. And the Cardinals will have a corner. And with time starting to really become a factor for NC State, trailing 1-0. As the Cardinals trying to win for the third consecutive time against the Wolfpack. As off the corner, good job knocking that one away by Edwards. Edwards, one of the few guys on the team for the Wolfpack that can get up there at least close to the size of big Josh Jones in the middle on all those set pieces for the Cardinals. Met him at the apex and knocked that one away. Because of the field conditions as they are, you see players slipping and sliding. But the Wolfpack kind of reduced to having to just try to launch the long ball over the top and hope for a good connection. As trying to orchestrate an offense in tight quarters, just not realistic right now. As Kelly off the free kick, will send this one to the edge of the box. Hilly trying to turn around with it, but loses possession and it's knocked away. And Kamara and the Cardinals clear it all the way out. Kamara staying with it, trying to push that ball back into the attacking third. And now on the edge, Hilly with an opportunity winds up, but again, the water does not allow the ball to get to the keeper with any kind of pace at all as Troutman got down in his stance expecting that ball to keep moving, but once it stopped, able to kind of just stand up and let it roll right to him. Any opportunity for the Wolfpack in the final 1240 is going to have to come in the air. As Brandon McManus trying to work his way in against Murray, but Murray, a good job poking that ball away. Murray has done a tremendous job, has been a brick wall back there for the Wolfpack today against this very dynamic attack for the Cardinals. As this one launched into the middle for Kamara, but again, Edwards right there with it. 
And now on the edge of the box, this one up high off the crossbar and then cleared away. And now another opportunity is looking for Kamara in the box, but the ball goes a little bit wide. For Diaz, now back to Kamara on the right foot. Now Rode fires it off the leg of Hatsios. Good job by Hatsios that time, able to get a piece of that one as Rode had a really good look at that. As the Wolfpack dodging and weaving away from trouble here in the last few moments. A couple of really good opportunities for the Cardinals to put an exclamation point on this one as Kamara trying to put it into the middle. But instead, the Wolfpack able to win it back. A near miss by Rode after he had the assist on what could prove to be the game winner. Hits the crossbar. Second official shot on goal of the day for the Cardinals. The Wolfpack on that little roller uh, a moment ago by Hilly, credited with their first shot on goal of the day, is now Kamara down that left flank. Trying to find some help instead. Loses possession as we approach the final 10 minutes and the Wolfpack desperately trying to get this out of their own end and create some kind of opportunity as the rain has calmed a little bit. And the wind not quite as ferociously blowing things around out there. As Luke Hilly wins a free kick for the Wolfpack. And Kelly, like we mentioned, for the Wolfpack with the conditions as they are, best chance is probably going to come on a set piece or in the air. So Kelly's got to put this one in the box and get it up high. Launches it for the box. Does get a touch on it, did Pedregosa, but couldn't redirect it on goal. And then Troutman there to cover it up. And now Troutman will take his time as he boots this one away. That was a great kick, great kick. Come on. Now trying to create a free run down the flank, but again, the ball just does not cooperate on the field with all the water out there. Cisneros very quickly to try and throw it in. With the clock now, the enemy for the Wolfpack. Nine minutes left in this one. As the Cardinals trying to run their unbeaten streak to five, but now another foot race is Jones and Hilly, but Jones able to get there first. But more pressure coming from the Wolfpack as Kelly will throw this one in. He doesn't have to kick it out of bounds if the guy's not there. Cisneros with the giveaway that time, and now the Cardinals will break it back the other way. Kamara was offside and pulled up. So the Wolfpack able to avoid any trouble there. As Kelly launches it forward for Hilly in the box, gets knocked down again. Wolfpack maintain possession as Kelly outside the box winds up, comes down onto the foot though, and an opportunity just across the mouth of the goal. Wolfpack putting on good pressure now. Batista as the ball sent in toward the far post, but it's going to go up over the head of Troutman and out of play on the end line. Wolfpack with a couple of good opportunities that time. Alex Batista on the back end had an opportunity at that one, but wasn't able to catch up to it as that crossed the mouth of the goal. Cardinals will make a quick substitution as Ugo Achara returns. Abubakar Kamara will sit. Oh my God, are you me? As the ball nearly given away, and it is given away. Trying to launch it ahead for Hilly was Batista. The 
Batista launches it forward. Hilly onside, trying to get it forward for Cabezas. And then it's sent out of bounds, and the Wolfpack will have another throw. Generated some real pressure in the last 10 or 15 minutes. Just haven't gotten anything to show for it just yet as Kelly trying to launch it in, but it's deflected off of road. And now the Cardinals will push it out of their own end. Cabeza is looking, or uh, Pedregosa rather, looking for somewhere to go with the, with the ball in possession. As McManus not able to win the ball for the Cardinals, and instead it'll be Wolfpack with the throw. Kelly will throw it in. Gets it onto the foot of Cabezas. So the Wolfpack looking for some late magic. Cisneros keeps it in the Cardinal end. Now six minutes left to play in this one. As McManus not able to keep that one in for the Cardinals, but the more time that ball spends in the attacking end for the Cardinals, regardless of the result, they'll take it as the Cardinals are the ones nursing the 1-0 lead. Murray that time, a rare mistake. Gives it away to McManus. McManus centers it for the middle, but nobody there for the Cardinals. And a golden opportunity there to slam the door shut. It was Nico Diaz who made the late run. Or check that, it was uh, Achara who made the late run there for the Cardinals, but actually got there early before that ball was centered across the middle. Their guy kicked it away in the first half and you talked to him. Four and a half left to play in this one. Wolfpack trying to get out of their own end and create a couple of more opportunities to try and level this one. As the intentional kick away that time the, the, with the stalling tactic for the Cardinals is going to draw a yellow card. Let's see who they credit the yellow card to. Whoever it is, it'll be the fifth of the match for the Cardinals. As Rode will fire this one to the far side for Achara, not able to save it. Atios quickly will try to get this in. Maybe time for one or two more real attacking opportunities for the Wolfpack. But right now, NC State having trouble getting out of their own end as the Cardinals continue to keep them pinned back. And for the Cardinals again, trying to keep their unbeaten streak alive. They've been unbeaten in their last four, which includes a win over eighth-ranked Pitt last Friday, and then the draw on Tuesday with UNCG sitting just outside the top 25 this week. And for the Wolfpack, trying to pick up their first win over a ranked team since 2019, and also exceed their conference win total from last season with a win today.
Hilly that time trying to win the ball for the Wolfpack, able to keep it in play. Kelly with it. Kelly just overruns it though as the ball gets stopped in the water. Now under three minutes left to play as the ball goes out off the Cardinals. And Kelly an opportunity to throw this one in, see if he can get it into the box. Again, in the air is gonna be the best opportunity as it comes down to Hilly. And now the cross into the middle, an opportunity, but just not able to get enough on it that time was Batista. Really well struck ball by Cabezas to get that to Batista, but Batista just not able to get enough on it to make it really dangerous. As we approach the two minute mark here in this second half. Butte will have the throw. And the Wolfpack hoping to generate again one or two more chances. That ball sent toward the middle, looking for Batista again, and then behind the play. Foul given against the Wolfpack, and the Cardinals will have a free kick, and they will take their time with this one. Now down to just 90 seconds left to play. Good job that time by the Wolfpack to win the possession. Not able to get it out of their own end though. Road with the touch that time, but the field conditions beginning to deteriorate on the Louisville attacking end as well. As you start to see the ball splash up around out there as well, but then in for Achara, but Achara offside as the flag comes up. And now under a minute left to play. There's another delay of game yellow card going to be handed out to the Cardinals. But with the clock running, that's of little concern to them. Now down to 20 seconds left to play. As knocked down from behind was McManus, I believe. As Jones will send this one down the flank, but out of play. And the clock will continue to run with 10 seconds to play. And Louisville will up their record to 6-2-2 two, and two on the season as the 15th ranked Cardinals pick up their third consecutive win in the series against NC State and continue to bedevil the Wolfpack here in Raleigh as the Wolfpack have still not won a match against the Cardinals here in Raleigh since 2016. The difference in this one came in the 59th minute on the cross from Patrick Idukovic and then sent back into the middle by Sonder Road for David Bacuzzo headed it home just inside the near post in the 59th minute. The first goal of the career for the freshman from Orlando, Florida gives Louisville the win, one to nothing, the final score in this one. NC State drops their season record overall.